was the last time you saw her? Ten years ago. Here's to your future. To the future. Helen, she, she tore you apart, man. And well, maybe Katie, maybe she's the one to put you back together. I'm thinking about asking Katie to marry me. What do you think of her? I like her. Me too. Let it go, let it go. Hey, listen, we got to get the boys together this summer. Hey, as a matter of fact, we have, uh, it's like a summer camp program going on at our church. Ethan should come. We also have Miss Heather. Miss Heather has a very important job. She is in charge of the food. Are you guys ready to have a good time? You saw who? You're telling me that Heather works at a church less than 10 minutes from here? Heather, Heather's a part of our church. Hi, Jeff. Where you been? She's talked with you guys. I mean, did she ever say she had a kid somewhere? You remember the lady that served you guys lunch at church? Miss Heather? Ethan, Miss Heather is, is your mom. But I thought you said my mom did bad stuff. She's his biological mother who was never there. When Heather and I were together, we were the best. She's my girl, Dave. Do you think I should just stop seeing him altogether? Heather's not the same girl that you knew back then. Jeff, I can't. I want her back. I actually want her back. And you're telling me that she can't be with me because she's a Christian? We are not giving up on this. You never will be the man that she needs. Not on your own. Do you still love him? But do you really think this is some big coincidence? Heather leaves you, and then God saves her, and then she comes back into your life? God is sovereign, and he is always in control. I don't want to lose you. The question you have to ask for yourself is, which road are you going to take? Yours or God's?